gimmick cards and the gimmick deck. The gimmick deck is 24 cards that are double thick cards. The reason why they're double thick, it helps keep them from catching flight because the lighter cards, the single card, gets too much speed and flies out of the card ladder. Plus it makes them a bit more durable. So these are in any order that you want. But it is critical that you keep these in good condition. If they start to get worn out and a lot of dings and dents, they start to get thicker too. That becomes a problem. So you may have to remove a few cards during a performance. But it's best to have a performance deck and a practice deck. You can order more decks from me if you'd like. So there's that. Now we have the gimmick cards. It's very important you pay attention to this portion or that it will fail on you. Each card has a shim. Number one is the bottom left, number two is the middle, and number three is the upper right. Number three is the upper card, number two is the middle card, and number one is the bottom card on the final display. You must have them in this order. One, two, three. With those placed on the back side of the deck, just like that. Pretty simple setup. Always make sure to peek, because you can see that number three when handling dur during the routine, that that is on top when you put it in the Hewlett at the end. Okay, we're going to cover the setup of all the cards. You have the Joker with the magnet at the top. You want to set that in the Hewlett at the beginning of the routine. It will stay there throughout the routine. Once again, its purpose is to cover the gimmick. It being an X card, doesn't really matter to the audience. It's not in play. Now, of course, you have the three shimmed cards. One, two, and three. They are placed on top of the deck at the rear. Square the cards up. Place them into the Hewlett, making sure the Joker's to the rear. And give them a little squeeze to make sure that they stay nice and snug in there. Now, you're ready to roll. At what point in the routine you want to flip the switch on. And then have the gimmick start running. And of course the cards start moving forward. And away they go. With the Joker staying at the end. And of course the three cards on the ladder. Another quick note about loading these into the Hewlett. As you use these cards... They will start to expand a little bit, which I talked about briefly earlier. With the gimmick cards uh, loaded to the back plus the Joker, um, it'll move them out further towards the slot. So if these start to expand to get to be too thick, just get used to taking a few cards out. The audience isn't really going to count the cards going down. The point is, is that you want about a quarter inch gap before the slot there. So you want about a quarter inch of the wood showing. So I pretty much can fit all these in at this point. So what you don't want to happen is for these cars to get so far forward that if you bump it or if they start to relax that they fall down prematurely. So keep your eye on that spacing. Because when you put it in there you want to give it a nice squeeze to tighten them up and it's ready to go. But you may have to adjust the card count as the deck gets wider. Now this is hard to see on film, but underneath the deck is this piece of curved plastic. It's very lightweight. It keeps the cards against the surface and dampens the speed at the same time to give the cards more control and not so much acceleration down the ladder. So be very careful when handling the uh, card ladder not to damage that piece. Okay, we're going to cover the deck switch. Uh, first, it's important that the high side of the glass, as you can see, it has a wedge on it. The high side is always towards the back. Now you have your setup gimmick deck of cards. 
the numbers at the top. And they have your normal deck of cards that you've just earlier done the force with. To set the silk up, place it over the glass center with your corners towards the front and towards the back. Now just push it down in the center, just like that. Take your gimmick to deck, facing towards the audience, gimmick cards on the back, with the numbers up, place it to the front of the glass. Just get them squared up so they look like that. Just pull this rear part forward, just like that. You can have the corner tucked back a little bit, make it easier for the switch. Now, at this part of the routine, you start telling the audience what's going to happen. That the cards will start cascading down the ladder, falling into the glass. Now you just drop them to the back side, falling into the glass, until they ultimately all fall into the glass with a spectacular magic finish. Now when you're ready to do the switch, just pull this back section forward as you reach in and grab the deck. This is the gimmick deck. Now you can take that up and place it into the Hewlett. But you want to come back and tuck this all down, sliding the cards down flat. As you tuck this down, because that silk is going to break the fall of the cards as well. There you go. A very simple deck switch. And there is motivation for the silk to clean the glass and as the pad. Uh, for padding the cards. One other note about the glass placement. Remember, it has a wedged back. So you want that wedge to the back side and place it right in the middle. All right, we're going to cover the force. You have the three force cards on the bottom in no particular order for this particular trick. We're going to use the Hindu Shuffle Force, one of the easiest forces to learn and do and pretty effective. If you want to choose another force, that's your prerogative. Okay, in this case, grip the deck with the ring finger here and two on each side, thumb over here. And you're just going to slide them off the top into, I just squared up between these two fingers here and start sliding it off the top. Just let them collect. Uh, kind of messed that up, but... There we go. Tell me when to stop. Oh, stop. And you show them the card. It's on the bottom. Strip that off. Square these back up on top. Next card is a queen. Tell me when to stop. When they say stop, I like to square them up on the cards here. Flash them the bottom. It's the queen. Strip it off. Drop it. Put these back on top. And one more time. Tell me when to stop. Stop. Flash on the card. That's your five. Throw that back on top. Then you got the uh, three force cards. You can uh, burn them back into the deck, whatever you want to do. Now, if you want, if you really want to make it convincing, you can do the first force. Stop. Strip it. Throw it out. Put this on top. And just do a little swing false cut where you break the top half off, cup it in your finger, flip it, and drop it in. Now you still have, you have the four on the bottom. Let me show you that natural action. Four. Swing over, grab, flip, and drop. So it's a nice little false cut. And you can continue on with your forces. Boom. So there you go. There's your Hindu force. Removing the cards off the card ladder after the effect's done, just give a little, get your hand down here, just slide that one off, set it down, slide this one off, and give that a little slide, bring it down. Make sure to store these cards somewhere that keeps them nice and flat.